enterotoxigenic E. coli, traveler's diarrhea. The enterotoxigenic E. coli causes watery diarrhea, produces an adherence protein called colonization factor antigen. The enterotoxigenic type causes endemic diarrhea in developing countries mainly during the first three years of life. The incidence of the diarrhea decreases after this age, after three years of age. Why? Due to decreased colonization, due to decrease in adhesiveness and increase in immunity. It's the most common cause of traveler diarrhea, 25 to 70% of cases. Enterotoxigenic E. coli infection occur from contaminated water, poorly cooked, or food or unpeeled foods or fruits. The toxin of enterotoxigenic E. coli. Two types of toxin, heat labile and heat stable toxin. Heat labile toxin consists of A and B subunits and is similar to the cholera toxin causing cholera-like illness that activates adenylate cyclase increasing cyclic AMP and causing net fluid secretion in the jejunum and ileum. So it's affecting a small intestine unlike enterohemorrhagic E. coli. The B subunit binds to the cell and translocates a subunit and the heat stable toxin acted gonalate cyclase in the jejunum and ileum causing watery diarrhea and cramps. Gonalate cyclase in the brush borders causes increased intracellular concentration of cyclic GMP, activating gonalate cyclase causing increased fluid secretion leading to watery diarrhea. Histopathological changes are absent in a small bowel including blood inflammatory cells and fever.